Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jamil OG Vibe, and today we have a different type of vibe. You haven't seen Guinness for a while. He's a big man now, but today, as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be discussing how Guinness survived the Pavo virus, which was, it was so crazy. I didn't realize how bad it could be until I was going through it. Um, well, he was going through it, and I was basically the caretaker. So we're going to get into, you know, the symptoms, you know, treatment, home treatment, because um, my vet wouldn't take him, thank God. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into that. So if you have a puppy of your own, or sometimes big dogs even get it as well, and this video is some of some help to you, definitely consider subscribing, and we're going to get into more Guinness stuff. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know, Guinness is my... I think he's 16 weeks now, yeah. 16 week old Rottweiler puppy. Um, yeah, and if you haven't seen the old video when I just got him eight weeks ago, I'll put it up in the, yeah, he's at the bottom of my feet. So if the camera shakes, it's his fault. Guinness, stop. So first things first, let's get into what the papavirus is. Just in layman's terms, it's a GI infection, gastrointestinal infection that affects dogs. Um, there's a human version of it, but this one is the canine papavirus. And um, it's basically, it affects your GI tract, so diarrhea, vomiting, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's very contagious. That should probably be number one on the definition. Very, very, very contagious and can be spread via interaction with um, dogs who are who have the virus or in there. If you know puppies go sniffing around and then a puppy, a dog who has parvovirus, you know, pooped in in that spot or something like that. Um, in Guinness's case. He had his three shots, but we went to the beach a few days after, really after, right after the last shot. Um, and yeah, I don't know. But it could be anywhere, to be honest, because it's also carried on your clothing. It's also transmitted on your hands. So even if you wash your hands, it could be on your clothing when your dog jumps on you. So my tips would be just to keep them out of every interaction possible for the first, until they get all their shots, basically. The signs and symptoms are very obvious in parvovirus, although it could take one to 10 days, I think, for it to um, start showing up in your dog. Um, for Guinness, it was literally the Thursday night, he was fine. I woke up Friday morning, there was he vomited in his cage. And I was confused because, okay, why did you vomit in your cage? So I took him out. He peed normally, pooped normally, and then I did his protein shake, which he refused to eat. Now, he loves his protein shake, so that for him to not even try to drink it, I was like, okay, this is weird. So immediately, which is one of the best things that I could have done, I contacted the breeder, which I got Guinness from, and she told me to basically give him this sweet water concoction, which was supposed to hydrate him. It's like a rehydration salt. So it's, I think it's, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure the... the, the ratio but it's a few parts i think five parts water five cups of water to five tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt i might be wrong but it's about that it's around that so it's just basically a rehydration salt and it basically hydrates them quicker because that's one of the symptoms of well I don't call it a symptom, but it's one of it's one of the things that affects the dog the most in in parvovirus is dehydration. So just try to keep him. She told me just try to keep him basically hydrated. So I did that. Um, he was I had to basically start feeding him with a syringe right then and there so that he could get it because I didn't know what to do. And she let me know that it probably could be parvovirus, but just monitor him for the morning. Give him some boiled chicken, white chicken breast. And see if he eats that, didn't eat it, went out again, and then the stool started becoming runny, like like a brown runny. I know TMI, but you know, if you're here, that means you have a dog and you want to get the best advice for your dog. So it became like a orangish brown runny stool. And I got back in. Mind you, I got in the vehicle as soon as he didn't eat the first time his breakfast. I got him in the vehicle and I was about to take him to the vet. But then the breeder told me, just monitor him. Don't go spending so much money just yet. So anyway, after that, she told me I should take him. So I did take him. And parvovirus, they didn't want me really inside the place. Because, as you could tell, a lot of puppies come there for their vaccines. So they're not vaccinated fully yet. And that could be a very high-risk issue. Um, 
So I was outside, two of the vets, well, a vet and probably a vet um, assistant, veterinary assistant, came outside. They gave him the test and he came back positive for powerful virus and um, started to give him, they gave him four shots, four injections. Um, and the last one was supposed to stop the vomiting, but the, the side effect of stopping vomiting is like runny stool, like immediately. So as soon as they gave it to him in less than five minutes, he was just like pooping all over, like without him even stooping to poop, it just came out like very watery and runny, smelled like death. They told me that they, well, at that point, they didn't really even have a, we didn't even have a conversation about him staying overnight. I took him back home to, got his medication, and the process was just basically me giving him his medication on time. It included antibiotics. They gave me, um, I mean, go to your vet. I'm just telling you what they gave me. I don't want you, this, these are prescriptions, so you can't get it over the counter except the hydration salt, but I was given Imodium, that's for the pooping. Imodium could be used in humans, but this one is the, this one is loperamide, which is the generic form of it. Um, he also had ondansterone um, and also his claviceptin, which was his antibiotics, because the antibiotics was supposed to stop any kind of um, for the GI infection from all the rupturing and the vomiting and the pooping and stuff like that from there. Because the virus basically eats at your inner lining of your intestines, a large intestine, I think. So the first night after coming from the vet, it was hell. Because it was hell in, for two different reasons. It was hell because he was extremely sick and he was pooping everywhere. And secondly, because it was at very timed doses, like you had to give it at a specific time, and they had given it to him the first time at 4 p.m., and it was a 12-hour span, I had to be waking up at 4 a.m. So the first night we woke up at 4 a.m., I was outside having to clean up everything because it literally was just like poop and vomit everywhere. And... He was just so weak and he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking. I would have to sit and feed him with a, a syringe. Oh, they also gave me a hydration salt, which is over, you could get over the counter, but it was prescribed for him. That's just to keep him hydrated, as I told you before. The second day, the day after, was not any better. I mean, I mean, at, at one point he showed a, like a vast improvement. He was running outside and then came back inside and then was down again, pooping the same way, vomiting, not eating. At this point, he's not eating food at all. So it's only liquids, basically his rehydration salts and, and, and getting him to eat that, drink that, sorry, and to take his medication. Um, and what I read online is that within 48 hours, the dog either survives or succumbs to the virus. Guinness? Hey. And to go outside? Come, go outside. So I also inserted some of the, I took a few videos, like just not even much because when he was really bad, it was like hands on trying to get him to stop vomiting or comfort him while he was vomiting. So yeah, so that was the second day. The, so that's Friday, Saturday. Sunday was back to being terrible. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was just, it was just very poopy and vomity and he was very weak. But I was still giving him the medication and still trying to give him the water. Nothing was staying down, not even the water. So I think Sunday morning, when I realized it wasn't getting any better, went back to the vet. Um, he was closed, but he opened just to give him drips. Um, at that point, he also, we also tried to keep, let him stay over because the night before, I had asked a few other vets that I see on my timeline. Um, and they said, usually they keep them to monitor them, monitor them closely so that they could keep them hydrated because since he's vomiting so much. So also asked, but the vet told me that he doesn't keep them because it's a high risk and blah, blah, blah. So basically just keep on doing what I'm doing and hope for the best. So came back home after giving him the drips. He was a little bit more energized because of the, the fluids in his system. Um, it was just a saline drip and they also gave him some of the medication. So that allowed me to change the timing of his medication since they gave it to him at 9 a.m. this time. So now I could have switched to 9 p.m., which was uh, easier for both me and Guinness because I wouldn't have to wake him up and I wouldn't have to wake up and it wouldn't have been just a weird time. Um, so that was great. 
Um, he didn't show much improvement after that. He still was throwing up. Um, anytime he would drink the water, throw up, and then while he threw up, he'd poop. And one of the days, I just had to put him in a smaller cage because I have the bigger cage behind me, well, crate, and put him in the smaller crate so that he could be outside, closer to the hose, so that as soon as it happens, he could just be cleaned off because it was literally almost like every 15 minutes he would poop. So, yeah, that was Sunday. So the Monday, I was like, okay, this is not working. I tried to call one of the hospitals and ask if they would sell saline so that I could do a mini drip in, cause I would be searched and in the, in the nape of their neck, if you can't do the vein. Um, but they told me no, okay, thankfully, cause I don't, maybe I wouldn't have done it right, maybe not, you know? Um, but I was also watching a video which told me about the nape of the neck and they also suggested bully, it wasn't bully max, but it was something similar to bully max. If, I don't know, if you have a, Big dog, I'm sure you'd have Bully Max. It is a supplement for growth for healthy dogs. And it's just basically a lot of ingredients like cellulose, whey, um, non-fat dry milk, proteins, you know, a lot of things. A lot of nutrients, vitamin B12. It's a lot of things packed in. I have the tablet form and you could also get it in the powdered form. This is the size of it, so yeah, this is what it looked like. It's like communion for dogs. So I took that and he, he wouldn't eat it, so I crushed it in some water and I gave it to him, but he still wouldn't drink, so I had to take a syringe. Shout out to um, Pedals because the syringe I was able to use wasn't the five mils that they sell at the, like, the pharmacies and stuff. I had a bigger one which we had she had bought for us to take shots, but we never did it back when we were younger. So I had that big shot, which was easier for me to get in more liquid into him by his mouth. Um, so I used that. So I was like, okay, he's going to have to drink that. So I pulled it up, gave it to him. And literally, he started showing improvements within like two hours. And the night of that, I gave it to him in the afternoon. That night, he threw up once. And that was the last time he threw up or pooped or anything. And I didn't expect it to work like that. And I don't know if it might work for you the same way or if it might be a coincidence, but it was a great coincidence. And this was literally, after taking this, was the last time that he threw up and pooped. So I continued giving him his medication because it had to be for five days and seven days for one of them. So I continued giving him his medication because antibiotics is a funny thing. If you stop it before time, the bacteria, the virus could get, you know, immune to it and stuff like that or resisting resistance to it. Sorry. This was the saving grace. And I don't know this. Is, I bought this on Amazon. I think it was $20, I think on Amazon and it has a hundred sixty tablets in there. But it doesn't feel like it I've, i feel like i've had it for a while i give him one a day usually but that day i gave him the two of them and he literally just made a 180. sorry my got my camera overheated and cut off so but yeah i was talking about the bully max and this was literally the turnaround for this entire thing before giving him this i thought he was fading away i said to my mom he's fading away but um, after that, he really showed great improvements and he hadn't and hasn't thrown up or shown any time signs of Pavel since then. Um, I'm in the process of getting him back into his form and his size because, of course, he stopped eating for four days straight, four or five days straight. Um, now, when I just when he just started taking this, I would give him some boiled chicken. Um, the doctor, the vet, um, told me to give him white rice and then when it's done crack an egg in it and mix it Guinness don't like that because Guinness is bougie and spoiled so I gave him chicken breast instead he was eating that fine and now I can get him back into his regular routine of food so his protein shakes his um his kibble with his um meat and stuff so he's starting to look back in order so this would be I don't know if I, I'll put in one of the pictures from before and this is him after come Guinness Guinness, come around. Let me show you him. Come. Come say hi to the people. Up. Up. Uh. Oh. Oh. Look. 
Say hello. Say hello. There. Okay. You see how big he is now? The last time, the last time your guys saw it. Oh. Look. Uh, say hello. He is huge. Ugh. Just now I wouldn't be able to. There he goes to bite again. Stop. Okay. No playing. I was just showing you the people. Okay. Go back. Bye. So my boy's back. Thank God. And unfortunately, his brother passed away from the same virus. Um, he had a different owner, um, unfortunately, because, I mean, it's a serious virus. So definitely make sure to... This one is the, one of the cases where prevention is way better than cure. Um, keep your dogs inside as, for, as long as possible. Because I know, I know everybody, when you get a dog, you want to bring the dog everywhere with you. And for me, it was... Well, he had it like... Ow! Stop. He had his last shot, so why not? Let's let's go out. Let's have fun for the first time. And, you know, sometimes you just have to wait a little longer. And, uh, yeah. So they say the vaccine t takes probably like 20 days to fully, especially in Rottweilers. I didn't see that. The Parvo virus is... The, the Rottweilers are more susceptible to Parvo virus and because of their immune system and stuff like that. And to, it takes longer for the vaccine to work through their bodies. So if you have a Rottweiler puppy, definitely take even more care. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place now because I picked him up and now he thinks it's playtime. Ah, Guinness. He's teething, guys. So he's a demon, right? But he's loving as well. He doesn't, since being sick... He already was obsessed with me, but since being sick and I had to like nurse him back, he's even more obsessed. So that's, yeah, he's a full-time job now again. Um, but I'm thankful, of course. But anyway, he's going to be active like this for a long time, so I'm going to end the video here. And if you have any questions in the comments, guys, please feel free to ask. I can only give you my experience. Um, but thank you for watching. Definitely leave us like and subscribe to this channel. Um, yeah, and if you want to see more Guinness, let me know in the comments. Now I could actually do my puppy haul because he's well again, okay? So see you in the next video. Come, Guinness. Come. Come say bye. Come say bye. Ah. Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. He wants to bite. See ya.